Well, Princess Diane Memorial is looking really well. The uh, flowers everywhere. Even the crazy mom breacher that's supposed to be only a few feet high. Well, we've had tons of rain and it keeps raining and then the sun's come out for half an hour. But the uh, actual play area, that's all in sight. Not very often we can film this because obviously we don't want to film the, the children but uh, on a quiet day when there's nobody about. Let's see what the facilities are. The old zip wire which is very popular. Well this big hole still here. And whatever they're doing they ain't solved it because it's still pouring down here. And you get a big uh, puddle there and come winter comes a skating rink so what's taking them so long is another question anyone want any mushrooms plenty of mushrooms here by the boat house when we look at the lake the uh, I don't quite know what it is whether it's algae or whatever but it's green yucky and horrible it seems to be spreading quite rapidly see this green yucky stuff here a lot better it's really really bad I'm guessing it's not good news and it's all over the, at the lake of this bottom end and you can just about see it on the video But the <coughs> sluice gate and the amount of rubbish behind it and got everything and it goes right back under the the bridge so it definitely wants to tidy up before it all bypasses the sluice gate and comes in the park. Down comes the bloody rain again. Up the uh, Signets are all out. So, pretty safe to say that they're going to make it this time, aren't they? There's another one somewhere, there he is. Barring any sort of bird flu or anything, they're big enough and ugly enough to be safe now. Another swan behind. focus on it there is anyway and down comes the rain with the vengeance the old Mahonia there are starting to go autumnly it's been a funny old day one minute it's pouring down and about ten minutes later the sun's out and then it's pouring down and then it's nice it's uh, had a fair share of rain well, we are having a mohen party because there's presumably mother, baby there, another baby there, and another baby there. But it certainly looks like a uh, family outing this morning. Keeps looking to see where the, where the rest of the gang are. <clears throat> done the old bandstand at long last and it wasn't a big job was it it's a, what they haven't fixed a simple job one would think as you can see it on video all the water 
pouring down because the yeah, it's absolutely pouring off and it is bucketing now I'll give them that but uh, that's a crying shame this bandstand isn't it we never have any bands you know <coughs> clothes in the name isn't it it's a bandstand why can't they get uh, bands? Uh, I mean, you used to get the old Sally Army band, didn't you? Foden's band. All the old bands. Sunday afternoon on the bandstand. Such a lot to repair it. And now it's never blasted used. <coughs> well, it's absolutely thrown it down. I don't think we'll need to water the plants this afternoon. It really is pouring down. So people are coming to the park. A couple of people just arrived with a dog and there's me and a couple of others. Right, another ten minutes and be here lovely and sunny. Well, main flowers down the drive are still looking at the best. Now we're getting to sort of mid-August when anything could change. As I was saying, they just get to the best and then they have to rip them up and put the uh, spring bed <laughs> Well, that's a first, I've not seen that for years. Somebody actually playing bowls on the bowling green. That is a rare occasion. Well, it's August and you can see the very early signs of uh, autumn coming on. A couple of bushes there browning up. And you can see just this sort of tinge of the uh, trees just getting ready for autumn all this slime greeny algae whatever it is you can see quite clearly here uh, the color of it whether they're doing anything about it or wait for the ducks to eat it or something <laughs> it's getting progressively worse week by week well, all the ducks lately do seem very hungry. I'm just waiting for them to come and attack me. <laughs> when anybody comes with food and they appear from nowhere like magic. The old rats are out in full force. The one there, where's the other one gone? There's another one somewhere. There he goes. It's getting just a bit too much now. Everywhere you go, there's there's rats. Okay, about the ducks, do they? In and out of the ducks. Well, even the babies have come now. This one behind is quite a young baby. Look at the state of the lake. All sorts of seeds and all sorts of things floating about. It's not quite as bad down this end, but it is still very green and algae stuffy what's in it. And the whole swan family is having a 
Sunday morning tidy up. Right, good brush up. I always get some nice flowers by the the lodge. Nice and bright. On a windy day. Well, a nice day for once. It's not raining. At least so far. Nice and peaceful on the lake. Virtually no gulls. Strange how some days you get thousands of gulls, and the next day. Perfect piece. Well, the old swans with the signature at the bottom end of the lake. You don't really often see them down here. Two there, and the other two have gone round the corner. And of course, the usual reprobates, because you've stood still. That's out in force again. Miss that one. We can see the uh, start of autumn, can't you? This tree here. Really starting to go now. And everywhere you go in the park, it's just rats, rats, and more rats. You go in and out of the ducks, they don't care. This is under the weeping willow tree. And he's come to say hello to me, so he's not particularly bothered about me. I said that, he just run away. This is only a baby one. Another tree starting to go for for autumn. It's only time soon. Oh, some great pictures in autumn. I don't know what went wrong with these wildlife gardens. Because they did come, didn't they? And uh, remember reporting they were sowing seeds like people were going crazy. And all we've got is just gra grass and weeds. I know weeds are the wildlife garden, but not even, you know, by Asda, that one there, and when there was one uptown, there was tons and tons of uh, cornflowers and all sorts of things. But this is just some mowed, unkept grass. The flowers around the old Boer War are looking good. Nice display. I was down the main drive and we're getting a, a second uh, lot of flowers on the blossom which for this time of year is a bit unusual, I can't remember ever seeing it again Well there's quite a few for flowers coming up Well it's been a lovely sunny day, lots of people out 
what I've been out a lot is kids on electric bikes going like a flipping heck. No helmet on, five, six years old, skinning round at high speed. You're in the right mind, that's a five or six year old loose on an electric bike in a park with no helmet on. There's supposed to be a five mile an hour limit in there, but uh, that's where anybody bothers. <laughs> Signs everywhere. Now, it does seem every other blasted week that uh, you come to use the toilets, and all you've got is closed due to vandalism. I'm getting a pain in the butt. Well, I've had these barriers up for weeks, presumably to fix this. Well, it ain't worked, has it? It's flowing quite merrily down here. And we've got a mini lake there. Well, all the swans are happy, I'm saying that. <laughs> Just been having a go at the ducks. We've got the signals. Someone's been feeding them. He won't stand still. Well, the big old tree's not looking very happy, is it? Uh, dead on it. 